hi all as i said that i'll be making video so uh, welcome to the first video class so in this class we have uh, three parts the first part is uh, to work on the assignment i mean just i will show you how to calculate some of the fields and how to create the dashboards okay and the uh, second part we will be discussing the relational database and uh, in the third part i will show you how to create the automated data entry in the excel and some other uh, excel formulas okay so first thing first let's start uh, the review of assignment okay so to do that we first need to go to the excel file the data file that we have so first uh, thing that i want to do is i want to delete all the blank observations that uh, uh, the current uh, total current assets uh, has because we will be using uh, the current assets many times uh, the variable that we will not be using uh, we don't care whether they have the blank or not okay so first one is i will select this column go to the data and then filter okay i will be using this filter to delete the blank uh, so we have the blank over here and okay so these are the blanks uh, of the variable current assets so i will select all of them and then right click so delete rows so all the blanks of the current assets have been uh, deleted okay so we can see that there are some other variables and they have uh, some blanks for example see that uh, fair value has lot of uh, see this one fair value has lot of uh, blanks okay but we will be rarely using this one uh, to calculate our different uh, new variables so i'm just marking this one say uh, red okay I mean, we will not be using this one okay so let's go to the pivot table so insert uh, click pivot table so we have this one so from these so get a new sheet okay so we have the pivot table over here and here are the pivot table fields so we need the company names so i am just inserting a company name in the row and we need the current uh, so current assets and then I will be inserting the current liabilities. Okay, so we need to create a new variable. So to create a new variable, we will click, uh, click on analyze, then the fields, items, and sets. Click there. The first one calculated fields. So click. So first one is current ratio, and current ratio is equal to uh, total current assets okay you set the field uh, divided by the current liabilities total add and okay so we have create this one and just selecting this column format cells then numbers okay i want to have three decimal places okay three decimal places that's fine so click over here and sort the values from largest to smallest okay we have sorted and we can see that facebook has the highest amount of current ratio and the lowest current ratio is uh, for california pizza kitchen it has the lowest current asset so i'm just marking that okay so what we need to do uh, we need to create uh, a visualization so that uh, we can easily see which company has the highest and which company has the lowest so to do that uh, go to the analyze then table chart the column okay i'm just clicking okay okay so but you can see that this is not uh, looking good so because there are three variables so this uh, bar chart uh, has been created based on these three variables so i want to delete the variables that we are not interested in 
so I'm deleting the current assets and current libraries from here so we can, now it is clean and clear that yeah, we have this uh, current ratio so from this mm, a bar chart we can see that that uh, Facebook has the highest uh, current ratio so if you want to give a new name on this soy so you can also do different things see if we click on this it will show the values okay so there are some other uh, so this is another one this is the other one and this is another one so there are many different ways we can present the these are the things okay this is the other one so but in most cases we don't need the values okay and the script in this one okay and you can also use different colors okay see the colors are over here the different colors okay These are the uh, other things that you can change, you can work on it, okay. And we have the values over here, so okay. And access, no, okay. See how it is changing the title, okay. And data labels, we don't need that. Grades, we don't need that, okay. Uh, legend. And that, okay. Trend lines, see the trend line. So data levels, no, no. So we want the company names so that we can understand which company has the highest and lowest. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm copying this one. Okay. And I'm just opening. A new doc file so that so this is the new doc file number one is the current ratio so if we click this one as uh, we have then there is a problem the problem is if we change in the see this is the graph okay if we change in here say I'm sorting this one let me see uh, smaller scale labs see it has changed and let's look at the so it has also been changed okay so to avoid this one what we can do we can copy the image in copy the bar chart and paste the bar chart as an image okay so i'm going to the pivot table again so uh, sort from largest to smallest okay it is changed so i'm copying this one okay then i'm delete this one paste and click as image so Fine. I'm clicking and pasting this one as an image, so I can do this one, okay? And then we can write that uh, the, from the path chart. We can see that Facebook has the, the highest. current ratio whereas California California pizza has the lowest okay so this is one and let's go to the pivot chart again pivot table okay so what I'm gonna do I'm just Returning this one to the field. So let's calculate 
the gross profit ratio okay so to do that we need the sales and we need the cost of goods okay you can also search over here cost of goods mm, okay let's calculate the new field or calculate field so cross profit ratio to calculate the cross profit ratio what we need to do start with a bracket then sales so we need the sales right sales less cost of goods sold cost of goods sold divided by sales again Okay, add. Okay, this is the gross profit ratio we have calculated. So for max sales number, I want to have three decimal places. Okay, so then I want to sort from largest to smallest. Again, the Facebook has the highest uh, gross profit ratio. You can see. So we need to delete this two columns. Okay, that's fine. To the chart again, column. Mm -hmm. Then this one. So remove because we are not interested in these values. Okay, so we have this. Okay, and <coughs> you can see that there are two negative. Okay. So what we can do let's see like and trans okay. Let's see. Get a label like that. Okay. This is fine. So we can can we delete this? Delete. No, we cannot delete. What we can do, we can delete them from the original data. Right. Okay. So, but this one is uh, our gross profit ratio. Okay. So we can still uh, have an idea that the Facebook uh, Facebook has the highest amount of uh, gross profit. And now, what we can do, analyze and insert a slicer, uh, slicer by company name or fiscal year. See, we have two slicer. So from these two slides, uh, we can see. Okay, uh, if we want to see uh, how much uh, gross profit we have, say for 2019, these these are the gross profit we have for 2019, and how much gross profit say this company, Cabot Corporation, has in 2019. So this is the Cabot Corporation's. Uh, cross profit for 2019 okay so uh, we want to delete this one okay so this is the total of the yeah cabot corporations so this is how you can create a dashboard interactive dashboard so you can uh, insert as many slicer as uh, you want and you can also insert as many emails as you can this is how you can create the uh, uh, slicer meaning the interactive dashboard okay so this is the first part thank you so much for being with me